I am the Zero Man, and welcome to How To. Today's episode is How To Be A Slumlord. Oh, I have to turn that down on my speakers, I'm bobbing to it far, far too much. Okay, so today we are playing Unholy Heights. Um, a game where you can essentially, well, you are the devil and you run an apartment building. Yes. Oh, can I not? Look at that fabulous mustache. Yes. The devil is a fantastic, fantastic middle-aged gentleman. But... Why is this a slum? Why are we a slumlord? Well, we run a very crappy shack for monsters. Just to prove it's crappy. Simple wallpaper, single bed, a shabby fridge, a shower. Wow, this is actually not terrible. Did I buy the decent stuff? Did I make this not a slum? Oh wait, no, there's a washstand that's all grimy and nasty. Oh, was that an orange box? Yes, it is a desk. That is an orange crate. So yes, welcome to Unholy Heights, a game where you play the devil to gather monsters, to battle enemies, to make money, to build an apartment building complex? Oh, this. Yes, just, just ignore the, the birds, um... Doing things and losing health because of it. Uh, oh, this is just a really simple game that I've had quite fun playing with. That I've, I haven't seen. I've seen maybe one or two people cover it, just not anybody in depth at all. I find it quite humorous. If at times repetitive, you could actually just raise a whole bunch of monsters and fight a whole bunch of enemies. Let's. Oh. What is this? A very shabby mermaid person. Yeah, sure. Just to show off what my slum people can do. Little chickens in the banner there. Nobody dies on me! Nobody dies on me! Okay. That went surprisingly better than I thought it would. So yes, as a slumlord, you must get all of your tenants to fight for you. Um... Maybe because you peddle drugs to them and they owe you a favor. Not quite sure how, uh... Being the devil and running an apartment complex works. Uh, apparently pay rent. I know these little guys like cigarettes for some reason. These guys like kind of vegetable gardens. I know demons are just evil. They're just nah, she's an exorcist and she's a demon. Yay, we have money so we can purchase things. So wallpaper. Yes, you can choose a bunch of different things, including smutty wallpaper. It's so dirty that even perverts are ashamed of it. Burn it wallpaper. It's on fire. Oh, it's way too expensive. Oh. Drench ditties. Oh, 
graphing calculator. Oh yes, the computer is a uh, graphing calculator, the basic one. And the top one is a supercomputer. It's a quantum computer. Uh, funny. No, it's my PC. What do you want? You want a rack? Well, you're a zombie, so that decayed long ago. Wait, what are we doing? There's the rack. What do you want? You want a happy tree? You don't want a happy tree. It's a tree. Ah, oh, Mr. Stone statue. But as a slumlord, you gotta keep them contented. Which, them being content makes them more powerful. Them being powerful means they fight better, they heal sooner. They keep, you know, paying rent and not leaving your place. I've actually put far too much time into this game and got nowhere. Oh dear, it's like Monster Hunter all over again. But yes, it's really all you need to know about being a slumlord in hell. Which this seems very, very peaceful for hell. Complete a mission. We did. Excellent. So yeah, just progressing. Get a bestiary here, where you can see there's four different tiers of each type of monster. That's a succubus. A chimera. There's three types of adventurers. There's all these guys, including that is one fabulous doctor. Good gracious, he is fantastic. And she is a prostitute. Wow, okay. He is fantastic, the merchant. Bosses. Beef chief. I really hope that's a merchant. I really hope that's Cloud. Given the sword, it probably is. Abyssals. Fish people. Ah, the boys are a stack of fish, and the girls look like they're homeless. Guys, as I'm just staring at menus and being entirely more boring than I have to be. That would be how to be a slumlord. It's fairly easy. You just be the devil and open an apartment building and things come to you. So until next time, I've been the Zero Man and you have all been fantastic. You could pick up Unholy Heights up on Steam. I would recommend doing so if you'd like any kind of simulator games at all, just because this is so incredibly silly on many, many different levels. So, until next time, goodbye everybody. <laughs>